competitive time that they don't come around until later and nobody ever apologizes, apologizes to them, you know, where, that they were right. You know, you, you never hear that. You never hear, I mean, you never hear anybody apologizing to Mitt Romney because he got the thing on Russia right. He said that was a threat, you know, <laughs> but, but you'll never hear that. So, you know, it's just, a, it's just a, an interesting um, world we live in, but we all need to be thinking more clearly and uh, it's the only life that I know that we have, so I don't understand why people just let themselves get led around. They should, they should, they should question everything and be skeptical about everything. I think it's very important. These are really important thoughts. Thank you yeah. for expressing yeah, them to you. us. Are you writing this? Are you expressing this in some other capacity? No, I mean, I, my, my career, I do um, psychological counseling and I do teaching. But I also, um, I had a master's degree in film at Columbia University in New York. And, and so I, I was a writer for a while and trying to make films. And I lived overseas in Japan for several years. So that gave me a broader perspective of things. Um, I can remember in Japan, I was reading like three or four newspapers a day because, you know, there was no television that I could understand. So, so, so uh, I think that, that, you know, and I, I like reading. I still do, um, mostly um, history and uh, historical types of things, historical fiction. Um, but I don't know. That's me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks for talking to us. Yeah. And now I have to tell you a story. Okay. <clears throat> I was a freshman my first day at Queens College yeah. oh, Queens at the College. City University oh, yeah. of New York. So I know what you're talking yeah, about. I'm from Westchester. Okay. So, yeah, well, it's yeah. better. I know, Queen <laughs> no, I know Queens College very well, very well. And my teacher was Martin L. Pine. I remember the name because it left such an impression on me. Okay. And he was teaching social studies of some kind or another. And he was uh, trying to excite us with uh, stories of uh, Louis the Sixteenth on yeah. day one in college. Yeah, that's pretty, day pretty one, cool. yeah. <clears throat> and he referred to Louis the Sixteenth in the in the female pronoun. And uh, some guy at the back of the class said, Professor Pine, you just referred to Louis the Sixteenth as a woman. <laughs> I thought Louis the Sixteenth was a man, and Pine, and I'll never forget this as long as I live. Pine said, "Ah, you're in college now. We're going to give you the the real skinny here. If you didn't know it until now in your young life, in fact, Louis the Sixteenth was a woman." <laughs> that was the end of the conversation. But at the but the end of the class, you know, Pine said, "Wait, you guys, don't leave yet. I have to tell you, I was only testing him. I was trying to develop his critical thinking." Be assured, Louis the Sixteenth was a Louis and a woman. I mean, a man. <laughs> that was 1958. Oh, that, was, that was a great professor you had. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that, that's that's the kind of professor uh, we 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 need. We need more people like that teaching us. Um, but anyway, so. Thanks very much. Okay. Yeah. Really thank you. It. Thank Enjoy you. Enjoy the conversation. Okay. I do too. I do too. Yeah. Yeah. Can we? Can we? Go off. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, so is this for your school? Or, uh... Uh, yeah, it, it is, and it's also for us. We're Think Tech Hawaii as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Is there a way I can make a con get to see this ever, or is there a name yeah. card or something? Yeah, it'll it'll go on our on the street uh, series, and there's a uh, a playlist on Think Tech Hawaii. Okay. Um, actually, go on YouTube. Uh, dot com slash Think Tech Hawaii. There's a playlist on the street. Okay. It's Jacob. Jacob. Hi, Jacob. Nice Mom. to meet you. Yeah. Mom. Yeah, I like how you had to pause between yeah. two stuff for dramatic effect. I don't know effect. if I have a, I don't think I have a name card with me, but let me give you my name now so you know who I am. Sure. And, okay. and like a contact. You should come do a show with us. I don't know yeah, why. Do I feel talk like... Shows. We have a studio down oh, you do? We do talk shows at the rate of seven a day. Yeah, sure. It's drag me in. I'll be talking about everything. Well, I, 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 like I, I love, really I love talking. Okay. I was a public speaker. I used to do Toastmasters, and I did. I, I went to Connecticut School of Broadcasting, so I know how to talk oh, on the yeah, radio. Right. But um, let me give you. You want to write it down in another copy of mine? 
Yeah, that's the way to go. Yeah, Yeah, so that was actually live because that was in our window. Oh. Yeah, between uh, 40 and 45 after the hour. Oh, so somebody long. somebody was watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Plenty of people watching. That's yeah, okay. It's yeah, it's okay. It's so okay. So we're recording and broadcast. I used to be on TV in Japan. I was an actor. I was a comic. Are you trying to run away from me? No. You don't want me to ask you questions? Yeah, well, Please talk to I now. need people to film. Please what are you doing? Well, we finished talking. No. Nice shirt. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. I mean, I like it too. Okay, now go. Are you going to put your headphones on? What do you think about Mark Zuckerberg? He's an alright guy. He had a good idea. Uh, it's talking about like, specifically the court? Yes. Oh. Yeah, what are you going to do? That's it? That's all you have to say? What are you going to do? What about all the privacy breachings? Uh, you're an old man. I'm sure you use Facebook. Not that old. I've got nothing to hide. Do you really have nothing to hide? I don't believe that. Not that I'm embarrassed about. <laughs> so, do you have family and friends that use Facebook that are worried about it? Not that I know of. My dad posts a lot of crazy stuff on there. A lot of memes. But he doesn't have Instagram, so that's his outlet. So, they don't really post anything too crazy that they're worried about, but there's other things, too, that you enter into your account that usually aren't displayed to other people but that's still being kept and reused and, you know, used however they want. Does that worry you? No. No? No. <laughs> Nothing at all? <laughs> what are, what are, I really don't care. Because what are they going to do? Use my information for, for advertising or something? I don't care. All they right. can use my information for advertising. For voting purposes, whatever they want to do. It's not, like, affecting me. So do you, are you not worried about the fact that they can manipulate the elections and things just like Russia did? I don't know if they actually did that, though. How much did they actually influence? I mean, I really don't know that about it. Jacob, any... I don't know. I don't know. Because what do they do? They use, like, people's information to, like, who to target and be like, oh, these people definitely, we get them to vote for him. I think it's more like they play to people's opinions and they try to... It's like when, when you see the same thing constantly over and over again, you start believing it. That's true. Yeah, but everyone does that. That's what advertising is. Advertising and that kind of go hand in hand to me, like if that's what it is. That's all companies want to do. Even out here, this is all advertising. You see it every day, and then you eat it all these places. I think it's just part of life. I don't know. Do you think more people should read the terms of agreements? <laughs> They're too long. <laughs> do you think they should be shortened then? I think so, yeah. I think that would definitely help. Let's get the main point across. I'm sure there's a lot of like language in there to deter people from actually like wanting to read anything and figuring out what they're getting into, but I don't know. I feel like companies basically have our best interests at heart. And I mean something like Facebook, I mean it's a new thing. I, I doubt like Mark Zuckerberg did anything knowing he was doing anything specific to, uh, as far as the election stuff, but he just made a platform that everyone uses. And I mean maybe they have to start regulating it now, which I think they're talking about, but I don't know.